Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about the Quick Access Toolbar in PowerPoint. Now this is a feature across Microsoft Office, so if you're a heavy user of Word or Excel or PowerPoint or OneNote, then this is going to be a great trick. If you haven't used Quick Access Toolbar before, then this is going to save you a lot of time and just be a really great feature for you to learn. So I'm going to hop into a blank presentation here and just from this screen you can see the quick access toolbar right below my ribbons. The quick access toolbar is something that you customize based on the interactions and the functionality that you use the most. So just to give you a quick tour of my quick access toolbar, I have the auto save and save, I have undo and redo. I also have a screen capture, screen clipping icon here. And if I want to add a new slide, then I can hop down. And this toolbar I'll mention is accessible regardless which ribbon you're in. So this is going to be a standard feature within my PowerPoint slides. I can quickly change my font. You can see even though I'm on the transitions slide, I can change my font to something different or my font size or my font, uh, you know, the number or I can increase, decrease, bold. I can change the colors of my font. Some of the other features that I like are being able to draw a text box or put pictures right on my slides. I tend to use the rectangle, oval, and rounded corner rectangle shapes a lot, so I put those on there. In fact, let me jump to this next slide and I can showcase some of these other ones as well. I'm going to draw a rectangle on my screen. Now when I'm doing my tutorials, I try not to use my quick access toolbar. I try and either show you the keyboard shortcuts or I go to the actual ribbon to show you but today we're gonna play around with my quick access toolbar. I can make some copies of this real quick. I'm going to make some changes and this is gonna be really sloppy just to show you these alignment options here. I'm gonna highlight all of these. I am going to push all of them to align to the left and then I'm going to distribute them vertically. So that's something really easily that I can do, whether those are pictures or shapes or text boxes or any content. I can make quick alignments without having to jump over to the format ribbon and going to align or rotating. Likewise, if I had these if I had these scattered again and I wanted to align them to the top and then distribute them horizontally, then I can do that very easily. So that's a quick overview. This isn't everything. I have the selection pane as well I can show you. Um, typically when I'm doing my tutorials, I actually go to the home tab and I go to select and I click the selection pane there but for a shortcut it's easy to have it on the quick access toolbar as well as other things like merging shapes and transitions now in order for me to customize my toolbar it is very easy and there's a couple ways that you can do that for one just go through each ribbon and determine what is the functionality that you tend to use the most are you always doing alignments or are you always putting bullet points or bolding text walk through the home ribbon and choose those things that you use the most and when you identify something you right click on it and you add it to the quick access toolbar. Now you can add individual shapes such as I added the rectangle, the oval, and the rounded rectangle. If I find that I use the equation shapes a lot or callout shapes then I can right click on any one of those and I can add those to the quick access toolbar as well. If I add something on accident, I add this to the quick access toolbar. It turns out I don't really use that a whole lot. Um, then you can go ahead and right click. You can remove that from the quick access toolbar. So walk through the insert tab. Do you insert a lot of text boxes or word art or shapes or icons? Whatever you do a lot, then add that to the quick access toolbar. Uh, do you work a lot with transitions or animations? I have my animation right here, slideshow as well, review. Also, if you have shapes highlighted and you want to have the shape format functionality, then you can do that. You can edit the shape, add that to your quick access toolbar. And then of course, if I want to remove that, then I'll click remove from quick access toolbar. Another way that you can customize the quick access toolbar is to go into file and options and then you have a quick access toolbar option down here. And this is where you can see the popular commands and if you want to add a popular command from this list, then you would highlight that and add it. You can also see groups of commands based on which tab they're in. And if you wanted to, you could also see all commands as well. This is going to have every single thing that PowerPoint can do. And so with this, you pretty much have to know exactly which element that you want to put on your tab so that you can find it alphabetically 
and that you would be able to add it that way because this is a pretty extensive list. But these are all things that you can do to customize your toolbar. If I wanted to change things, if I wanted to move the oval shape below the rounded rectangle shape, then you can click on that and you can sort it up and down. If you wanted to remove things, you can click remove and then click OK when you're done. And there you have your quick access toolbar. So this is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to be a great function that you're going to depend on pretty regularly the more you use it.